This is Fresno's Fabulous Past, a look at the pop culture environment of the city of Fresno from 1950 to 1990. And here is your host, Dale Mel. Welcome back to Fresno's Fabulous Past. And the song you are listening to is entitled Main Street by Robert Farnarn. It is from the long-playing LP Canadian Impressions released on the London label back in 1956. This is one of many themes that opened the afternoon program on KMJ-TV Channel 24's Nancy Allen's Movie Matinee. And I am talking with the fabulous TV legend, Fresno royalty, Lorraine Martin, who many of you know as Nancy Allen. Hello, Lorraine. Hello. (laughs) Now, this is theater of the mind. She is 52, I am 48, and I am holding her hand, telling her, I love you, Lorraine. Everybody needs to be loved, Dale. (laughs) Talking about those theme songs, I remember the very first one, believe it or not, was Liberace. Liberace played my theme song for maybe the first six months, and then we went over to... um, Talking about David Rose and... Talking about David Rose. And Holiday for Strings. You got it. (laughs) Yeah. Now, this Robert Farnarn, uh, you also played Main Street from the uh, Canadian Impressions LP. That's what I understand. And I recognized it when I picked it up. Before we get into your life, where you were born, raised, after you retired, you go out and you had many people compliment you. Compliment you about the TV show, the gardening show. What were they saying to you when you went out and you say, well, I appreciate that? I think most of them just told me they remembered me, (laughs) that they grew up with me, as I think you did. Yes that they wish there was that kind of a show today and that they just appreciated what I did. Some people say they wish that quality of uh, entertainment was still available. You know, today's movies, some of them are excellent, but there's a tremendous amount of violence and ugliness, and they tend to be disheartening. The ones we showed were mom and pop movies, say. I was going to use the word wholesome, except it sounds <laughs> so uh, years ago. But mostly, I, they spoke to me as friends. They would come up to me in the grocery store or stop me on the street, that kind of thing, and just say, aren't you Nancy? And then they'd say, I thought you were. I remember you. And I did enjoy it, that kind of thing. Friends. That's fantastic. Let's talk briefly about where you were born and raised, what made you think about being a performer. How did you come up with the name Nancy Allen? Well, briefly, I was born in San Antonio, Texas. Yay! (laughs) But my parents brought me up to Oregon when I was probably a year and a half old. My father, uh, his family lived there, and he had married my mother in San Antonio. And so I spent my first, uh, well, until I graduated from college, were in Oregon, the Pacific Northwest, Eugene, Oregon in particular. But I also lived in some little towns because my dad worked for the Standard Oil Company and they moved him around from place to place. My first husband, my children's father, was on the faculty at the University of Oregon, which I attended, and I married him (laughs) the same month that I graduated. We lived for... How old were you when you graduated? 21. So there you have my age. (laughs) No, no, no. You're 52. I'm 48. And that's it. Theater of the mind, Lorraine. Theater of the mind. That's what we're going for. You're no older than 52. You look like you did in the 60s on the movie matinee program, all right? And you look incredible, by the way. Now... Briefly, we went from the university. Or this was wartime, remember? War coming at 1941 was when uh, I graduated. We moved up to uh, the college in uh, Pullman, Washington. And it was from there that my husband uh, enlisted... Anyway, I went back to live with my parents in Eugene while he was away. And when he came back, he had an offer from Fresno State College, and that's why we ended up in Fresno. 
I was a housewife with two little kids, and he taught at Fresno State in the speech department. Out of a clear sky, I was having lunch with my husband and some of his colleagues in the speech department, Phil Walker in particular, who was a beloved figure here in Fresno, great director and performer. And during the lunch, Phil said, Lorraine, they're planning a program on um, KMJ. And he said, I think you could do it. You were Lorraine Hanna at this time. What was your husband's name at, at Fresno so State? It was Mark Hanna. Okay. He was a well-known speaker around town. That's what he taught, and he was awfully good at it, too. Now, you had two children, you, Jeff, and who's your... Uh, My daughter, Cindy, okay. who unhappily I have lost. She died um. in 2003. We finished lunch, and I thought about it. It was kind of an exciting idea that I might do something like that. Anyway, I went home, and I thought he must have said radio. We didn't even have a television set. Largely, everybody didn't have one in 1954 or 56, whichever it was. So I called KMJ and they said, no, we don't know anything about a new program. So maybe I called Phil and he said, no, it was television. So I called Channel 24 and they said, yes. And I know this sounds like a story, something made up, but it is exactly what happened. They said, yes, we are planning a program, and we've been auditioning for some time. Today is the last day, but if you want to come in this evening and do an interview on the air for us, because that's what we're looking for a woman to do. So I called back Phil, and I said, will you go with me, and I'll interview you? And he said, sure. So that evening, must have been maybe 7 o'clock, I got dressed up, and Phil picked me up. We went down, took the elevator up to the television station, and as we walked down the hall toward the studio, a whole group of women, who obviously were other auditioners, walked out. We went in, and uh, there were the cameras and the lights. It was pretty exciting, and they gave us two chairs and said, um, fine. So I did interview Phil, who was a close friend and a very eloquent and uh, amusing man. I don't remember what we talked about, (laughs) maybe his work at the college, but it was brief, of course, maybe, what, five minutes, and um, I think Joe Tomes, the program director, must have been there. Whoever, uh, they said, thank you, we'll let you know. And we left. (laughs) Well, I didn't hear anything from them for a week or more, and it was around Easter time. And we went down, my little family, to see an uncle and aunt who lived in the L.A. area. And while I was there, I got to thinking about it, and I just couldn't wait. I called Channel 24 from Los Angeles and said that I was just wondering if there had been any decision made. And you fine listeners know what the decision was. This is Fresno's Fabulous Past with Dale Mell. Listen to part two as Lorraine Martin becomes Nancy Allen, a name chosen by Channel 24. So tune in for that. Thank you for listening.